Happy Monday morning. Today's episode is going to be about how intense is just a perspective. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to approach this, this specific lesson because it came in an inbound message I got recently from someone on our team. You know, they were asking me about my new coach, my new nutritionist. I kind of was sharing some of the workouts I was doing, the diet I was on and the cardio that he was having me do. And I was like, man, that sounds intense. And it hit me that like intense is such perspective. Like what you think was a lot of money is not. What you thought was a lot of payroll is not. What you thought used to, was hard last year isn't hard. It's all about perspective. If you remember that, if you remember certain things, I'm going to read you the message I sent back to him. And like, I don't know why this is what came out of me, why this is the response I had, but I thought I'm going to read this to you. These are the response I sent to his message. I said, man, that sounds intense. And I said, this is what I said back. I think this might land with many of you guys who are feeling a little overwhelmed, feeling a little like you can't get ahead, feeling like maybe this is a little too intense. Maybe I'm working a little too hard. Maybe I'm dieting a little too hard. And sometimes there is too too intense that begs the question, is it worth the squeeze? But quote, well, you got me all kinds of fired up calling that workout routine intense. Intense is only a perspective on anything. Working hard can be intense, but not as intense as being broke. Diet and exercise can be intense, but not as intense as being fat and sick all the time. Discipline can be intense, but not as intense as feeling alone because no one around you trusts you. Working out hard is easy if it means not being fat and sick. Working out hard is easy if it means having money and the feeling of self accomplishment. Discipline is easy if it means having a support group that will help you with anything you need because that's what you would do for them. End quote. This is a message that kind of hit me. It kind of got me all fired up because I think people are so quick to assume you're doing too much. You're trying too hard. You're being too disciplined. You're, this is too intense. And I think if you looked around your life and looked at the alternative of the intensity, the alternative of working hard, the alternative of dieting and exercising, the alternative of discipline, the alternative of being in intense on one side because to accomplish of anything of extreme success, it requires extreme effort, extreme discipline, extreme decision-making, extreme self-trust and self-worth, extreme to most. You know, there's so often people talk about how they want to be in the 1% or they want to be whatever, the top of their game, the top of their class, the top of their industry, but then get really lost and confused when most people don't understand them and get really lost and confused and start to doubt themselves when people don't believe the activity they're doing is right, or maybe it's too much, or it's too over the top. It's impossible to be the best at anything while also holding on to the opinion of the average. And that sucks to hear, and that sucks to say, and it sucks to be the reality of it, but people who are afraid of failure are going to limit the risk one can take when it comes to failure. You know, there's people that love you right now that are concerned you're doing too much. They don't want to see you fail or hurt or get overworked or burnt out, or they don't want to see you lose or fail at all but becoming the best at anything requires failure. Not avoiding it, not preparing for it, but like I'm going to do things at an intense level because I want intense levels of success and that's not going to change. So hopefully that helps you. Hopefully that holds you accountable to a level that no one around you is willing to hold you to because my ecosystem, my world, my clients and my team know I'm going to hold them to a standard that very few people are willing to. And for some people, they hate that. For others, they love it. But it all comes down to the results you want to get. If you want 1% results, expect 99% of people to not get you. That's what zero doubt in yourself looks like. And that's what winning fast and winning often at the highest level requires. Get out there this week. Go be intense and see how the results measure up.